Hi guys, my name is Xavier. Um, today I wanted to do a, a quick video on um, the Porsche 911. I have a 911 uh, 2005 uh, 911S and I just took it for a very long uh, trip uh, from eastern, southeastern Wisconsin to uh, South Dakota uh, and uh, Wyoming. So I did about 1700 miles with it. I want to give you uh, my impressions. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool car. So I have a couple other cars uh, I'm going to show off just quickly now. And this is my uh, Corvette uh, Z06. I take that one to the track. Uh, sorry, I went to all those three, three tracks with it. I, I'll talk about it uh, a little bit later. Great car. It's a great pickup truck. So I have like a, a nice uh, Audi S6 V10. So that's my uh, winter car. Uh, it's pretty nice. It has over 160,000 miles now. So, but that's okay. Uh, but what I really want to talk about is this uh, 2005 911S. So as you can see, it's pretty dirty. Uh, usually when you see a 911 on in a video, they're all nice and shiny. But like I said, I just did uh, 1700 miles about so it's all dirty and most of that dirt actually comes from uh, Wyoming uh, love Wyoming by the way it's pretty cool if you haven't never been there you should try so anyways uh, you can see it's all dirty and I'm gonna go get a quick wash with it very soon uh, but the dirt basically shows where you definitely want to have some of the covers. Uh, you can see everywhere uh, where the dirt is. And I, if you have any kind of like uh, uh, protection in the front, like the clear bra that I have here, that's uh, definitely a good idea. As you can see my front right here is full of bugs. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna spend quite a few hours cleaning all that up. So everybody, uh, knows about the small space that uh, you have in a 911 and especially in the back the back seat are pretty much useless on that we know but I've been very very impressed uh, it was very comfortable for 17 on, on other miles so what I did is like we had two drivers and uh, in order to to be able to like switch off or not stop too much uh, what I have in the back here is basically a little cooler so I can have my uh, liquids and uh, food snacks and stuff like that for the road and then of course I am a little pillow but this is the key this is the, the that front seat the passenger seat so here I'm about uh, six one I just uh, put it at the maximum uh, in order to uh, have a ro uh, room for my legs and Put the seat back as much as possible so I could lay down. Of course, a little pillow, and that makes a very nice sleeping area for when you have a, your other driver driving and you can still take a nap. So, being 6'1, I was able to relax and fall asleep relatively in a relatively uh, comfortable position. As you can see here, my legs are totally extended. So take off your flip-flops and just uh, relax. And with that little pillow here, right there, I am in a very comfortable lay down position with the seat belt on and the second driver can uh, drive uh, for the rest of the way. So, the only thing is, usually when we go to a road trip, uh, two drivers, each driver do um, a tank of gas. So this uh, 3.8 liter engine, flat six, uh, on the highway, and uh, for those of you who know South Dakota, the speed limit is 80 miles per hour, so you can just imagine how fast we were doing. Being a German engineering car, 
you know, they are made to do 100 miles per hour all day long, so basically that's what we did. Uh, maybe not 100 miles per hour, of course, but we did that. And the only thing is we couldn't just like switch off after every uh, tank of gas because we could do about 500 miles per tank. So obviously we had to switch off a little bit uh, before that. It's either we had to replenish our fluids or we had to get rid of some of it. But there you go. That's That was a little quick thing before I go get this car washed. It's a great car. If uh, you ever wonder if you should take your 911 for a round trip, uh, a road trip, I'll suggest to do it. It's definitely not bad. The only thing is short wheelbase, so if the road is not that great, it's a little bit dirty, but otherwise, you know, it's just fine, very comfortable, and you don't have to worry about breaking down on the way. Uh, obviously, we had an extra uh, can of uh, fixer flat just in case, but that was not a problem. Make sure that the tire pressure is set, like the manufacturer says, and everything will be just fine. Alright guys, take care. Thanks for watching.